Hey guys, Jack Cantus here. We're getting some more Don't Starve. So, again, preparations for the balls. The balls of winter. I'm not afraid of him at all. But it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Remember all that jerky I was stockpiling? Probably gonna need it. Probably. Most likely. Alright, put our seats in here. Let's make one more football helmet just for safe measure. And let's go to our little tooth trap field. Just in case he spawns. Uh, there's a reason I did this like this. So when he shows up, I have a nice little fire pit ready to go. I know it's a waste of twigs. Don't yell at me. But when he shows up, I'll, I'll be ready to go. And then we can mess around with him here. But I should put my loot away. And then when he shows up, Abigail's obviously not going to last very long versus him. But, uh, Abigail's not going to last very long, but at the same time, he's not going to last very long versus me. So I got two spots for meat, and three meat. Of course. I was thinking to myself, why am I not making pierogies? I have plenty of meat to make into eggs. And then I have some sort of vegetable, which are these caps. I don't really need anymore because I have a Tammy. So I can make some pierogies. So I'll show you guys how to make pierogies if I haven't showed you before. They're like the go-to don't starve. The uh, go-to go uh, don't starve uh, food. give these guys all these eggs. I mean, all this meat to get eggs. And you guys didn't know, to get um, eggs from birds, you have to give them some sort of protein. So you gotta give them, you gotta give them some sort of uh, meat to get them to produce an egg. So let's go ahead and get these green caps because we don't need them anymore. Put a monster meat in there? One mushroom? One egg? A 50 bajillion ice that we have. I'll go farm more ice later. Do you know what I mean about the ice? I'm handy, eh? Alright, let's go find our m dead monster loot. There you go. There we go. And then I had a clan around here. There you go. I knew I had a clan sitting around somewhere. So I don't want to blow on my jerky just yet because of the sanity. It's a good little pick me up when you need sanity. And then put the monster meat in there. Oh, I'm freezing. Good thing I got grass tufts. Don't be afraid to burn them, guys. Now we gotta wait for this goober to show up. That's no fun. He should be showing up. I mean, it's like four days left in winter. He should be showing up. I want to fight him. Check if we get any more rabbits too. And he go with those rabbits. And he gets some magic. Well, on that one was a no. Just grab some toys and grass while we're here. Since I'm running low on both. But that's to be expected. It's winter. I didn't stockpile it. I don't really explain the map either. Let's get some more wood, too. Wah! 
try to repopulate this forest over here so I can get some more. Oh man, that was the shortest day cycle I've ever seen in my life. I think I might break my golden shovel at this point. Yeah, it's at 1%. Ooh. Damn, a ham bad. I'm trying to remember where I put my other rabbit trap because I can't just have one. I need four rabbits, and I need them to stay alive. So I'm gonna rely on this trap. Pretty much. Someone's been messing with my bees. Of honey. Just remember, guys, to come pick up your honey every once in a while. Waste not and all. I gotta head back. Push up, freezing to death. Now remember, I still have grass stuffs. Smack! Alright, one, two. Go ahead and put that morsel in there. Save me on monster jerky. Like I don't have enough already. Yeah, we also got our honey. Yeah, we got, what, eight pierogies? Not bad. Well, my thermal stone's a little heated up. Go farm some ice real quick. I want him to show up so I can kill him already. Um, I get so paranoid in winter. Sometimes Deerclops doesn't spawn. If you guys didn't know, big spoiler. It's, uh, Deerclops is the boss of winter. But sometimes he does not spawn in winter, and it's a real downer. Because you do all this preparation to fight him, just in case. And then he never shows up. Because as soon as spring starts, he despawns. So it's a big whoopee... But it's good to be prepared, nonetheless. I can do this before that breaks. I mean, before it goes dark. Ooh, what do we have here? Well, take me one of those. Yeah, I made a hand bat and everything. Alright, chesty. Just in case. I don't want Chester to die. I like Chester. Alright, I gotta feed this rabbit something. Hmm. Can I feed a mice? No, I cannot. Picky, picky rabbits. Put your hand bat in the fridge too, by the way, if you guys didn't know. Kind of save its uh, durability a little bit. I guess I can give him a berry. Alright, well, since we're doing a whole lot of nothing. Oh, hound attack. I'll totally use this. Let's get our hand out real quick. Gotta go to the cave soon to get some light bulbs too. Alright, now we wait here for our prey to show up. And 
and the tube trap works like a charm. And look, we got one to refund us. Keep an eye out for teeth lying around, guys, so you guys can keep, uh, you know, adding to your giant tube trap field. get 10 uses out of each trap and depending on which trap gets hit the most you know you can keep indefinitely making this bigger and bigger because you're going to keep stockpiling hound teeth if you're not doing anything with them so I got four out of there yeah I think this loser stuck me up yeah. so I need a big rib sticking meal let's go ahead and eat on here Monster jerky's ready. Alright, so my stats are alright. Let's go ahead and need a jam too. Get a jam out of there. Hmm. <laughs> stingers. Another stack of stingers in there, just in case we go to shipwreck. We're gonna need those stingers very, very often. And now we have six ounce teeth. Okay, I'm gonna go explore. Go to the caves for a bit. I don't think Dareclaw is coming. It makes me sad. Halfway through this episode, we haven't even. Hurt him. Well, if he comes out here, we're still prepared. So, no harm, no foul. As we mosey down here, there's some marijuana. Kind of sucks. I was actually really hoping he'd show up. I wanted to show you guys how to kite him. Alright, let's get in here. Let's get in the sinkhole real quick. Usually going down the caves kind of pisses him off. Oh, by the way, if you guys hear him and he spawns, and you guys are in the caves, he will be out there waiting for you. So, don't think the caves is an escape. Okay, so we just gotta go down this way and up to get light bulbs. Oh, you know what that is. That's some, some fun times coming. You guys don't know what that familiar growl is. That would be the growl of... Cave Worms. Which are super fun to fight. If you guys have never fought them before. Quick, go by real quick. Dodge the shadows if you don't want to get bonked. Now, Lengen's back at full percento. Like a rabbit. It's funny because sometimes um, the earthquake will drop rabbits and moles down here. And nothing much over here. We got our light bulbs. We got what we came for. All right, back, back, back to we go. We can grab some grass down here too. Some grass tufts that grow down here. I think I might show you guys how to make a cave base too, when I get enough supplies. If you guys, I know a lot of you guys are really, really fascinated by the caves and being down here all the time. Well, those are the things you want to avoid. Alright, let's go back up here.
and back out we are. Now let's try to run back to our base before that happens. I think I'll make it. I want to make a fire. If anything, what's a little bit of health? Especially when I stop to pick mushrooms because I want more progies. I knew I'd make it. Tammy's insulation isn't the greatest, but it does help. Ooh. Come back here, little tumbleweed. I wanna loot you later. No need to panic when you guys are at your base, so. Let's go ahead and put a nice, friendly, big uh, grass tuff in there to kind of help you guys out. Okay, so my reeds. Reads one out. Yeah, look at all this damn jerky. All that damage and sanity we took from freezing to death. Eat one jerky. It'll be fine. My jerky topia. So beautiful. I got three stacks of normal jerky. I should probably use it. Alright, we can get rid of the rest of the monster meat like this. Good to go. Grab our thermal stone, warm up by the fire. Hope deer cops is coming in like three days. Oh, there you go. Just the boy I wanted. Alright. Now to get him away from the base. Now what you want to do is equip football helmet and equip blow dart. And when he shows up, we're gonna smack him real quick. We want him to show up and aggro this fire pit. And hounds are showing up too. I just had a hound wave. I keep this fire stoked. I'm getting nervous. I don't want him to kill me. Is he breaking my base? Oh, fuck, he's breaking my base. Alright, he's following me. That's okay, nothing I can't rebuild. Hit him twice, back off. Hit him twice, back off. Abigail's gonna die to this. Hit him three times if you're feeling brave. What I wanna do is lead him into the traps. There you go. The boss of winter defeated. Now what you gotta learn about Deerclops is that he is so base hungry. He loves bases. He hates buildings, so he'll aggro the buildings before he aggroes anything else. Pick up Abby's flower. And I'll show you the reward for killing him and why it's so important to kill him before spring. I gotta reset all my two traps just in case I don't get caught in my pants down. I'm really happy he showed up, actually. I was getting really bored. I really just wanted to sit around the base and wait for him to show up. I was hoping he aggro... Um, he'd aggro this fire pit rather than uh, my little base over there. But he prioritizes going after buildings over a player unless you attack him. That's why I said to have a blow dart on you. 
All right, all two traps are reset, and I have a deer clops eyeball. All right, that's nothing we can't repair. All our precious food. All right, let's go ahead and put this back. Grab all our supplies back so we can make all our food. Do I have an empty chest I can start putting stuff in? Hmm. Guess I can put Abby's flower in here and the deer cop's eye. I need to get all the gears and cut stone so I can make the refrigerators. I didn't even take any damage from him. Twig, twig. Hang on. I think I can get rid of these. Yeah, I can plant them. They're just not going to grow yet. Can you see that bat wing? be important later. So I'm gonna do is drop my food here. That way I have um, building clearance. Add fuel. Don't freeze to death. It's gonna happen guys. Don't don't get frustrated when this happens. But a boss is gonna eventually break one of your buildings in your base. So, kinda kinda have to ease it. It's not that big of a deal though. You can see where that hound died. <laughs> Just left some random monster meat there. So what we're gonna need is cut stone, gears, gold, charcoal, and twigs. Where is my charcoal? Okay. Let's go ahead and make my crock pots. And I'm out of charcoal. That'll do for now. Let's go ahead and make our ice boxes again. Alright. Let's put our complete food in here. See? That wasn't so painful. Ingredients over her. Totally un, you know, recoverable, I should say. But it wasn't the worst thing that could happen in the world, you know. It's just, it's just a couple fridges and some crockpots. We'll live, guys. We'll recover from this, and. I need that honey hand real quick. Get rid of some room. Put the meat in here. Oh, I knew I had more monster jerky. Froggy bun witch, that. Okay, now we can put our stuff away. We can, post it. we can put our hand bat in here too. We don't need it at the moment.
But yeah, if you guys are having serious problem with deer clops, follow follow that little trap to the T. You can make it almost anywhere on the map. Not a big problem. He'll fall pretty quick to it if you guys are doing a cutting pattern. Eh, he falls pretty quick. He's not as tough he is he he's not as tough as he is in DST. Almost half, I think, half health. He's pretty buff and um normal uh don't start together, so you gotta be careful about that. I thought I could feed that rabbit seeds. Apparently not. Do you eat light oh my god, you eat light bulbs. Yes. Thank you. Cheaper alternative to keeping that rabbit around here. So I need my twigs back. Don't worry about all this stuff that you guys are burning right now, because you're gonna get it back in the spring. more monster jerky so for the deer cop's eye why we need it why do we need such a weird thing for the eyebrella of course and we need four bone shards for it good thing I have bone shards now this is gonna be crucial to your survival in spring 100% wetness protection and lightning that and it also cools you down in the summer. One of the best drops you can get to help you out with all the seasons. So now that this is a little damaged, we can use our sewing kit. Get our sewing kit. Heal that back up to 100% too. And that's why you have a sewing kit at all times. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. We don't need it yet. Pretty much makes the umbrella not useless, but it's it's an inferior umbrella. Probably refertilize my bushes. Some turkey, some turkey legs, real quick. Delicious turkey legs. Put those in. We can go ahead and hang this meat. We don't need it for anything right now. Oh, and the snow is melting. We're gonna go back to spring. Nice. Is that a full year, guys? I believe it's a full year. Not bad on this playthrough. Snag me another bird. Look at that. Now our little base is uh, not so not so ugly anymore. Let's get some guano. Fertilize these bad boys. A nice little farm right there. See guys, killing the boss of winter is nothing. And autumn for that matter. So, that's going to be a lot more difficult to get rabbits in spring because they don't spawn in spring. Because their little, uh, their little rabbit hidey holes, um, they kind of dissipate because of the wetness, all the water. They kind of collapse, so you guys can't get rabbits. So, my next episode, I'm going to try to force get rabbits by uh, digging up their burrows and putting a trap underneath them. That way, we can get some magic. Oh, there's another one right here. Is there any more rabbits? Hey, big guy. I don't think there is. I might have to get rid of these beehives. It's gonna be... Oh, it's gonna be spring. I gotta get rid of those beehives. Or else they're going to be aggressive. Have Abigail, I should have been doing this. Other than that, guys, I just want to show you guys how to kill the boss of winter on this episode. That way, if you guys are struggling in wintertime, you guys can show that big uh, that big deer what, you know, 
who the real who the real alphas in town. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys learned something. Other than that, guys, it's me, Jack Kent. I'm gonna sign off here. And if you guys want to join Discord or donate to my channel, links are in the description below. Like always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.